Hi, my name is Leda Şevval Çelikkaya and I'm a physics student in Bilkent University and this is my physics 102 final lab project. The aim of the project is testing out the Faraday's law by changing the magnetic flux. In order to do that, I kept the rate of change of magnetic field is constant and other values changeable. There are two properties I changed. One of them is the number of the loop of the coils and second one is the area of the coils. This is a list of the equipments I will be using in this experiment. A multimeter, 3 coils with radius of 3 cm, and 10, 50, 100 turns, 3 coils with 10 turns, and radius of 6 cm and 9 cm, a ruler, a magnet, and crocodile cables. In the first part of the experiment, 3 copper coils will be constructed, each with different numbers of turns, 10, 50, and 100. These coils will have a radius of 3 cm. A bar magnet will be dropped from a certain height into and out of each coil, causing a change in the magnetic field. The resulting induced EMF will be measured using the multimeter. This process will be repeated for each coil to observe how the number of loops affects the magnitude of the induced EMF. In the second part of the experiment, three coils with the same number of turns, which is 10, will be used, both with varying coil radius 3 cm, 6 cm and 9 cm. Similarly, the bar magnet will be dropped from a certain height into and out of each coil to induce an EMF and the resulting EMF will be measured. By comparing the measurements from coils with different radius, the impact of coil area on the induced EMF can be analyzed. At the end, two graphs will be plotted. First one will be voltage versus number of turns, and second one will be voltage versus radius. Through this experimental setup, the project aims to provide empirical evidence that supports Faraday's electromagnetic induction law. The results obtained from these measurements will help establish a relationship between the number of loops, coil area, and the magnitude of the new CMF, thereby demonstrating the fundamental principles of electromagnetic induction. In the experiment, Faraday's Love of induction was tested. The rate of change of the magnetic field was kept constant throughout the process. To achieve this, the same magnet was used, and it was dropped from the same distance each time, ensuring free fall. The area and the number of loops were the controlled variables in the experiment. My objective was to demonstrate the effects of changing the area and the number of loops on the induced EMF, and keeping the rate of change of the magnetic field constant was sufficient for this purpose. In this specific case, we investigated the impact of the values n and a. According to Faraday's law, increasing the number of loops should result in an increase in the potential difference and it was successfully observed in the experiment. Also, these ratios demonstrate the relationship between the coil area and the induced EMF. As the coil area increases with the larger radius, the induced EMF also increases, consistent with the Faraday's law and aligning with the expectations set for the experiment. Further analysis can be conducted to explore the trends and the patterns in the data, helping to establish a more comprehensive understanding of how the coil area impacts the new CMF.